Clickly is a payments tool that effectively allows consumers to purchase products wherever they are online. Be that in ads, uh, emails, social sites, wherever consumers see a marketing message, they can actually purchase directly from that marketing message. So we're a small startup, we are growing and growing very, very quickly. So it's incredibly important for us to find, especially tech platforms, that don't take up a bunch of developer time and resources and that save money. As an early stage startup, maximizing the investment that we have to really, really push that into driving returns for our brands and our investors is especially important. And we've found that MongoDB Atlas has been incredibly powerful in allowing us to not worry about scaling issues, not worry about downtime, not worry about not having customer details available when those consumers need to access that in the platform. It's been sort of a real relief to not even have to worry about that piece from an operational and product perspective. Originally, we were using Compose as an add-on with Heroku. Once we outgrew Heroku and kind of scaled up and, and moved most of our, our infrastructure to AWS, we started looking at other cloud-based options. So in our research, we heard about MongoDB Atlas's live migration feature, which seemed almost too good to be true, but we reached out to the team and to the support at Atlas, and they kind of confirmed that our setup and thinking was correct, and it went off without a hitch. One of the great things about MongoDB Atlas is that it's allowed us to scale kind of both vertically and horizontally as we've grown. It's as easy as just going in and changing basically your, your cluster tier. And then sharding also is not a simple concept at all, but it makes it pretty simple. Um, I think there's literally a toggle button that's like sharding on. The performance advisor has been fantastic. All of those calculations are something that we have done in the past, but we've had to do it manually. And often it's been kind of one of those backlog tickets that doesn't necessarily get the attention it should. So being able to easily go in and see a list of all the areas in which say, you know, indexing might help or, you know, areas where we're having slow queries and things like that has been very, very helpful and kind of keeps that top of mind. So I would heartily support anyone in using MongoDB Atlas. As we've grown quite quickly over the past year, as things have taken off, we've been kind of re-architecting things continuously. So we're kind of trying all these different things to keep up with the scale. Most everything over that time has moved to AWS and gone to like load balancing and auto scaling and all these things to try and handle it. I think it's a testament to MongoDB Atlas that that's the one piece of our architecture that has survived over the year because we just increased the tier and, and that's it.